As companies migrate from the Volume Licensing Service Center, VLSC, to the new Visual Studio Subscriptions Administration Portal, you may be surprised to find that the sign-in email address for some of your company's subscribers shows a third-party email address like Hotmail, Gmail, or Yahoo. Why does this happen? This happens because of the activation processes that were in place for the legacy MSDN subscriber experience. Before the Visual Studio subscriber and administrator migrations, there were two actions required to successfully use a Visual Studio subscription, or MSDN subscription, as it used to be known. The administrator assigned the subscription, and the subscriber activated the subscription. To activate a subscription, a Microsoft account, or MSA, was required to sign in. The subscriber could try to make their work account, such as lottie at contoso.com, into a Microsoft account, or they were free to create a new MSA with any email address. This resulted in the sign-in email address being different than the assigned to email address. Why didn't I see this before? In the VLSE portal, only the assigned to email address was visible. During the admin migration, both the sign-in email address and the assigned to email address were moved to the new portal. One of the features of the new admin portal is to provide more visibility into your company's subscriptions. This allows you to have more control over them, and in this case, showing you the email addresses your subscribers are using. How do I fix this? You have two options, including editing a single subscriber or several subscribers at once, and we'll show you how to do both. To edit a single subscriber, sign in to manage.visualstudio.com. Select the agreement that the subscriber is under. Search for the subscriber using the filter option. Once located, click on the subscriber that you wish to edit and select the edit button. Update the sign in email address and click save. If you need to edit in bulk, follow the same steps previously shown. But instead of choosing an individual subscriber, select Bulk Edit and then export the Excel list. Update the impacted subscribers in your sign-in email address field in the Excel template and save it locally to your machine. Then, upload the new list of edited subscribers and click OK. Once you've made the changes to the sign-in email address, your subscribers will receive an email letting them know to sign in using the updated email address. Something to keep in mind when you edit the sign-in email address is that this only updates the email used to sign in to their subscription on my.visualstudio.com. If the subscriber has activated benefits such as Azure or Pluralsight using the other email address, they will need to continue to use those email addresses to access them. If you have any issues, please contact support.